first question. Introduce yourself. Uh, good day. My name is Don. Don Green. All right, where are you from, and uh, how does it affect your heart? Um, I was raised in Miami. I was actually born in South Carolina. Didn't live there, but for a few years. But I was raised in Miami, Florida. Um, considered myself a Floridian just about my entire life. Uh, my wife and I, we moved to uh, Mississippi uh, almost two years ago, uh, January of uh, 2021. Uh, I love it here. Um, my artwork, uh, a lot of it is, is kind of a Florida, beachy, swampy uh, look to it. Um, there's, you know, of course you have to throw in the mountain every now and then, but uh, I usually like to kind of keep it into the, the low flatland. My, uh, my paintings, uh, the, the classes that I teach and stuff, the, the paintings will adapt to more of the local area as I get out and uh, observe what's going on around here. Uh, how did you develop your skills or grow as an artist in general? Well, you know, I've always had an interest in art um, ever since I can re really remember. Uh, I never did anything with it. Uh, I, I spent 40 years in and or working for the military and I was looking for an exit strategy and uh, I've, I remembered seeing this little furry-headed dude on uh, PBS back in the mid-early 90s. And uh, I, I was flipping through the channels and I watched him paint a tree with a fan brush. And it was like, well, that was really cool. It looked really lifelike. And then, of course, I took the, the remote control and moved on. I remembered him, I remembered him painting the, you know, the, the little tree. And uh, I'd spent a lot of time in Europe looking at a lot of artwork and everything, and it was like, I, I thought that this would be really cool to try. So I, I really didn't even know who he was at that point. In uh, 2015, I, uh, I, I ordered, I looked him up online, and I ordered a, a mountain set, a three disc, 13 you know, shows on each one, I believe. And uh, I started watching them and I studied them and I, I looked at them for hours and hours on end until I had them almost memorized and uh, I guess using the skills of you know paying attention to detail that uh, I'd, I'd learned in the military I, uh, I started painting and the more I painted the better it got and uh, you know Bob always said, you know, this is a skill that is learned. You're not born with it. And it is. You are, you learn how to ride a bike. You learn how to balance on one foot and you learn how to paint. And, uh, well, you know, my influences, uh, I guess that you could say that they first came from uh, when I was living in Europe. Uh, my wife and I, we did a lot of traveling. Um, you know, we, we went to every country. We were, we were in Germany for four years. Uh, we went to all of the countries that surround Germany um, and we went into the, the museums, started out looking in museums and everything and we realized that all of the churches are open and you can just walk in and the, the churches have artwork uh, going all the way back to the 1200s. You know, if you go to Bruges in Belgium and that's where the Van Eyck brothers started, you know, Jan Van Eyck. Uh, you know, he, he painted altarpieces back in the, the 1400s and, uh, you know, they're, they're in there. They're in the churches, they're, there's museums there that uh, do it. He's probably my favorite artist uh, between him and a German named Albert Durer uh, from Nuremberg. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of his work. I walked through his house that he grew up in. Once I got interested in the, 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 the art and started seeing what could be done with it. Um, that's when I really sparked the interest. And, uh, I, you know, watching Bob, you know, Bob really put uh, the practical use to it because you can go and look at the paintings all day long and unless you really know how it's, it's you know, the, the brush strokes are formulated, how you put it on the, the canvas to make it look like what you want it to, you know, that it's, it's, it's still a mystery, but Bob unscrambled the mystery. How long have you been interested in art, like actually like going to museums, seeing art and just being drawn to it? 
I really didn't go to many museums or anything uh, before I went to Germany. Um, when I was in Germany, we, we got to Germany, um, it was late 2009. Uh, I've, I got transferred to Germany and we were there until uh, at the very, very end of 2012. So we were there about three and a half years, I guess. And, uh, you know, we, we took, my wife and I, we took full advantage of it. Every weekend, we were out, uh, we were out hiking the hills, we were out checking out the castles, we were out looking through the museums, going through the churches, town after town after town. And uh, the longer we were there, the more we would spread out. And, uh, you know, it got to the point where uh, you name it, and we've probably seen it um, when it comes down to the art. And uh, it was just incredibly fascinating to see all of this stuff. So moving from your influences to your personal pieces that are here in the gallery, um, tell me about, uh, about the pieces that you put on display and kind of why they're there, and then your favorite piece that's in the gallery. Well, you know, over the years, um, you know, if you, if you listen to Bob Ross every now and then, he'll throw out there that he's painted some 20, 30,000 paintings. And I always thought that was kind of crazy, you know, an insane number, how could you do that? But, uh, you know, when I got ready to move from Florida to, to Mississippi, um, I found myself with over a thousand paintings and, you know, that I had to do something with. You know, I had a studio in Florida, I taught five days a week um, for about four years and, and you can paint a lot of paintings just doing that alone. But uh, the, the paintings in the gallery, uh, those were paintings that uh, I could get my hands on quickly. Um, I've got paintings stored at, at my home that, uh, you know, they're in boxes and stuff. And, and I just, uh, I went through and, and looked at some paintings and I wanted to get a variety of the different types, you know, with beach scenes, mountain scenes, florals, uh, you know, just some hodgepodge paintings. In there and uh, just just to kind of give a, a little bit of a, an overview of all the different little paintings that I've done over the years. Um, some of the paintings in there are, are it goes go back to 2000. I think the earliest painting in there is, goes back to 2016. Now there are a couple of paintings in there. There are several paintings that are that are in there that I painted while I was going through the Bob Ross certification class back in 2015. Um, but uh, the, the one that I did, one of my own originals that I did, uh, which is the large painting of the, the little cabin sitting next to the lake, uh, sitting next to the, the stream, um, I painted that in 2016. Um, that's probably the oldest one of my originals that are in there. And uh, of course, the, there's, there's several of them in there that are still wet from from me painting them um, the the most recent painting that I painted in there is the the one of the hand of God um, I painted it a week before uh, before I hung it in the gallery um, I do paint with oil and uh, it takes six months eight months for the oil to to get firm enough to dry where you can't really scratch it off and it takes a full year for the oil to cure. My favorite painting in there is uh, probably the heron, um, the large painting of the heron. And uh, the story behind that is uh, my son came to visit with me and uh, we, I took him to the airport to fly back home and there was a portion of the airport was under construction and they had a banner um, there was a vinyl banner going across the, the construction site, kind of blocking it. And it had different sites of things to do in Volusia County and in Daytona Beach. And it had a picture of the boardwalk, hotels, fishing, the pier. But it had uh, a pair of binoculars for bird watching. And the binoculars were next to the, the heron flying through the palmettos. And, uh, I really liked the way it looked, so I went over and I snapped a picture of it, and the next day I went to the studio and painted it. I think that's one of my favorite paintings that, that hang in there. So you were you were talking about your latest one. How does that compare to your, your first paintings, like starting out? 
Uh, my first paintings when I first started, uh, um, they they looked very very bad. They were they were horrible. Uh, you couldn't even really tell which what was what. Um, there was a, a a solid blend of colors. They looked more abstract than they did of anything that you could actually put a finger on and say this is what this is. Uh, I I didn't have a, a, a good knowledge of the color wheel and, and mixing colors and and I would end up with. Uh, you know, black mountains and, and orange mountains and, you know, with, with smeared uh, uh, ice, you know, snow, if you will. Uh, I mean, it, it, was, it was terrible. It was terrible. My artwork was horrible. And, uh, you know, when I realized that this is what I wanted to do, I got into the, you know, I signed up for the certification class in September of 2015. And it was March 2015. I had roughly six months. And uh, I started painting the same painting every single day. When I got home from work, I would go in the room and I would paint the painting. And uh, the painting it was uh, very similar. There's a mountain painting, uh, a mountain on a lake, a uh, snow-capped mountain on a lake in the, in the gallery. Uh, as you walk through the door, if you look up, you'll see it. Um, that is basically the painting that I painted every day for six months. And on weekends, I would paint it twice on Saturdays, once on Sundays, or once on Saturday and twice on Sundays. The other time that I would be painting it, I was heading to uh, Michael's. Shout for Michael's. I would go to Michael's and buy the canvases that I needed for the next week. And, uh, you know, I would, uh, I would be in there painting. And every time I would paint it, it would get better. And I would paint it again, and it would get better. And there was a point about uh, three months into it that I started to regress. It, they weren't looking as good as they were before. And I was getting frustrated, and I was able to, to work my way through it and keep painting, keep painting. And finally, it popped. And uh, by the time I went to the school, toward the end of September, um, I knew all of the brush strokes and I knew how to do everything, uh, except I had not quite mastered putting the snow on the mountaintop. And that is the most difficult part of the, the Bob Ross painting, is being able to lay that snow on there and not press it hard enough to where it just, it mushes in. And, uh, Within uh, a day or two of, of the certification class, I had I had got that down by watching the instructor down there. Saying anything else you want to uh, talk about or uh, mention? Well, um, I uh, I enjoy teaching the the paintings more so. I've I've gotten several calls, uh, people asking if I sell my artwork. Um, I don't actively sell it. Uh, it's not that I have any um, connection with it. I know that in the beginning, people, you know, they, they have this, this feeling they can't sell their work. Uh, I've sold a lot of my work at art festivals and stuff. Um, but I really enjoy teaching, and I put my efforts toward uh, teaching the classes because to me it is a lot more fulfilling to see somebody open up and... and you know, the, the look on their face when they actually see what they have done to me is a lot more fulfilling than selling my own work. Um, I am working on uh, setting up a studio in my home. Uh, I've got a large room that uh, I'm not finishing. Uh, it's going to be the, it'll be my studio. Uh, it'll have open beams, uh, you know, open to the attic. Uh, it's, it's like painting in a barn. But, uh, <laughs> You know, I'm, you know, I want to start having classes, uh, classes here because it is, it's so much fun to, to teach the, the painting and the skills and, and, and you have to really have um, some kind of an instruction uh, to, to really push you to the next level. And a lot of that has to do with the blending and, and you know, how to shade out things to, to make it look like uh, to give it distance, the perspective side of it. 
Um, but again, it's it's all taught. It's it's real simple. I've had people I can't draw stick figures and walk away with paintings that are good enough to hang in their home, you know, that yeah. they're proud of. But uh, that's. I'm, I'm hoping to get the studio finished uh, here within the next week or two and uh, start offering classes. The way I teach my classes is that, you know, I bring you up, uh, I paint what you're painting, everybody paints the same thing. Um, I show you how which brush to use, how to load the brush, put the paint on the brush, and how to apply the paint to the canvas. I show you how to do it. And, uh, you know, each class has about 30 steps to it. I try to keep it to 30. 30 steps um, and uh, you know most of the steps are repetitive there's probably 10 or 12 steps in the Bob Ross painting world um, you know the the technique and once you have mastered those techniques you can paint just about anything you want to paint you know using those 15 brush strokes every painting in that gallery has all 15 in it so, you know, and there aren't any more of them than just that. So, you know, it, there's, I'm not sneaking anything in. It's real simple to do. And it, uh, it works out if you practice, practice.